they were slowed down by a drone. And we've seen this before. It's a serious problem. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live in Eagle Rock with more. Leanne? Ellen, serious problem indeed. The residents here in this neighborhood could have been in serious danger if that fire that broke out on the hills here up above this neighborhood had raced out of control, and all because of a drone. Flames erupt along the 134 freeway in Eagle Rock. Crews rush to put out the blaze before it reaches the homes below. But up above, a danger in the air. This drone putting residents at risk if the fire had exploded. You fly, we can't. So because of that drone that was identified by one of our ground resources, all of our air assets were grounded for this duration of this incident. A resident reportedly found the drone a short time later and notified police. He was questioned and released. Investigators now trying to figure out who it belongs to. Luckily, the blaze was contained to just a quarter acre. But as we've seen on massive brush fires like the deadly sand fire burning in Santa Clarita, drones can have a huge impact, forcing life-saving aircraft from the sky, allowing the flames to race out of control. With drones in the sky, it imposes an extreme hazard for our air operations. Once there's drones in the sky, our aircraft cannot be in that area. A mid-air collision with one of our aircraft and a drone could be extremely hazardous for our pilots and also our firefighters on the ground. Assemblyman Mike Gatto is trying again to pass a bill calling for stricter rules for drones, including requiring all drones sold in California to have GPS shut off if they get too close to an airport or a fire. We've seen this happen time and time again. We uh, we hope that a tragedy doesn't occur, but it doesn't take a crystal ball to, to figure out that something bad could happen. And that is exactly what he is trying to prevent. And with an estimated 1.6 million drones sold in the U.S. last year, there are a lot of reasons to be concerned. Live in Eagle Rock, Leanne Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Leanne. And new at 6, the man accused of shooting a San Diego sportscaster has been convicted of attempted murder.